Hi guys, it's Bible Girl. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi guys, it's Bible Girl, and it's an episode of R and R. Today we're talking about Breaking Dawn. This chapter is called Big Day. Um, you may recognize. I guess we'll start calling her Hermione Granger. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Over here from. No, now it's Bella Swan. Okay, your your Bella or Hermione, Belmiley or something. We'll figure it out. <laughs> um, she's modeling the book. <laughs> she hasn't oh, read it though. Team <laughs> Edward. Okay. Uh, so today we're talking about Big Day. So, plot. So it's, it's, um, Bella wakes up and on um, all days of her wedding day she decides to make breakfast for Charlie. I don't know, maybe it's a little sentimentality coming in because she won't be living with him anymore. Can't do that. Um, Alice comes and she is totally annoyed at Bella because she didn't get a lot of sleep last night and accidentally slips out that the honeymoon is somewhere far away. <laughs> but instead of making Bella think about it, she diverts her attention by saying that she packed. So Alice is packed and it grossly annoys Bella, but she's going to have to get used to being around lots of new clothes if she's going to be related to Bella. I mean, to Alice. <laughs> and they get to the Cullen house, and Alice has decorated, but she won't let Bella see anything before the wedding. And she know, um, she lets Bella smell and see the different smells and stuff, because she's the first human to check it out. And Alice is pleased to know that um, Bella will. She enjoys this, Bella enjoys the smell because she's the first human to smell it. Bella thinks it's kind of stupid to have Alice play with her with Alice being so beautiful and, you know, Rosalie beautiful there and Edward is gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> and um, a quote I liked, so I wrote it down, is, No one will dare to call you plain when I'm done with, when I'm through with you. Which is such analysis uh, to say. Uh, Rosalie helps with Bella's hair, which is very surprising to Bella because Rosalie doesn't seem to like her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't read this in a little while, so I wrote notes. <laughs> okay, um, she's afraid of um, Alice's dress. Again, you know, because Alice is just gorgeous, and Alice is her only bridesmaid, which is, um, I am annoyed movie, <laughs> but Alice isn't going to be standing up there with Bella. Boo movie. <laughs> I know, it's just trailers, and I shouldn't get all mad, but whatever. I'm a fangirl. Uh, Charlie and Renee come in, and they give Bella her something blue. It's um, Grandma Swan's hair cones, and they put in blue sapphires. The dress is the something new, although it's made to look like an old thing, which is to Renee. She thinks it's themed after Edward's reign that he gave her, but really it's themed after Edward. <laughs> and uh, Alice's garter is Bella something borrowed. Rosalie is playing the piano, which again, boo, movie, I didn't see no piano. <laughs> and um, Bella and Charlie start going down the stairs into the wedding, which another boo, movie, I wanted it in the Cullen house and it's outside. And it looks super pretty in the trailer, just, it's down the stairs. <laughs> they know the Twy fan girls are going to be so Super, you know. Ashley, keep on going about the book. <laughs> super into the uh, wedding scene. <laughs> okay, um, but she says, "Don't let me fall, Dad," and that's gonna be in the movie. At least it's in the trailer. So, yay, movie! <laughs> um, it's gonna be ups and downs in this video. <laughs> okay, and um, Bella. Oh, what happened? Dad? Um, Bella, who has hated the idea of marriage for so long, finally. As she's walking down the aisle and she sees Edward, she realizes that why that it was stupid to think that. And she wants to run to Edward. And she suddenly thinks that a wedding isn't silly. Oh, and then this part's cute. <laughs> Edward held out his hand. Charlie took my hand. And in a symbol as old as the world, placed it in Edward's 
I touched the cool miracle of his skin, and I was home. But, ah, oh, weddings are so pretty. <laughs> and I like the traditional aspects of going from your father's house to your husband's house, but I'm a conservative girl. <laughs> so, yeah. And another yay movie I heard in the trailer, As Long As We Both Shall Live, because Stephanie Meyer made a big point in the book that they were going to say, As Long As We Both Shall Live. And then Bella starts crying suddenly as she says, I do. And then she's, you know, kiss the bride and her and Edward are just going at it. In fact, it gets really awkward because it's a really passionate, really long kiss. <laughs> but, um, just goes for it. And they, you know, she's like, forget you. This is my wedding. <laughs> and finally she has to stop kissing Edward and starts hugging people and she can tell the difference between the humans and the vampires. And Seth Clearwater, the werewolf, is there. And I love Seth. He's really fun and I, I'm so into the little relationship he has with Edward. <laughs> They're friends. <laughs> the werewolf and the vampire can be friends. She she hates Jacob. So, um, but I, I just want to clarify the 10 year old is not reading Breaking Dawn. <laughs> I must ask Brie how it goes. <laughs> Friend, not the vampire. <laughs> okay, um, so that was the R&R for a big day. Uh, very soon you shall get the R&R for the chapter gesture. Okay, guys, I love you all. God bless. <laughs> and I'll see you real soon. Bye. <laughs>